parents, um, no, my dad went to medical school in Meharry in Tennessee, and my mom went to nursing school in uh, Vanderbilt. And um, part of our family legacy was learning how my dad, on his way um, to the hospital uh, to perform uh, uh, medical procedures, had to get on the bus and was sitting in the back of the bus. And in the front of the bus were the people he was getting ready to operate on. Um, and, um, and just that example uh, alone, how my dad, I, th there's no way I could have got through it because I just would have shot people. I would have gone, <laughs> I, I would have gone crazy. Uh, but my dad's humility uh, along these lines uh, has set the foundation in, in our family in terms of, of love and peace. He worked hard. Uh, he did not become a victim, uh, neither my mom nor my dad, no matter what was going on in society. Um, they raised children. Um, my mom was a very spiritual Christian and my dad worked hard as a scientist. And between education and um, the gospel of Jesus Christ, um, we got through it. They got through it. And, you know, um, my dad, uh, you know, finished med school and we went to go live in Los Angeles. Um, we ended up living in um, one seconds. of America's most expensive cities. Um, we are not victims. Uh, my mom and dad are not victims. I'm not a victim. Uh, I'm a doctor. Um, I own a million dollar house and drive a Jaguar. Um, if you want to call me a victim, go ahead. It, in fact, I put a reparations jar on my front porch <laughs> and I put a post on Facebook and I said, if any of you white people are dumb enough, <laughs> To pay me reparations as a jar sitting on my porch. Just ignore the Jaguar and the million dollar house. It, if I put something in the jar, would it alleviate my guilt? <laughs> if it's in hundreds, it will. 